Right, um, I'll do another narrated quick flight. It's a quick flight. Um, the wind was too high for um, the, the audio, so I'll, I'll dub it over now. Here we're looking at um, the ground, my new ground station. This is a trial flight of it. it hasn't been used yet. Uh, so this is its maiden as well. This is the D700 DVR uh, with the sunshade showing the live feed from the Sky Fund. This is the Sky Fund that's getting made in today, 2300 uh, KV motor, 6x4 prop, 4 amp, 4 cell lipo, Mobius flight cam, easy UHF, and 1.3 GHz VTX. Uh, my Fly Dream Autopilot. Right, in the car, also getting its maiden is the T screen in the front, a uh, little screen that you can't see because of the glare, but there you go, there you go. There's the live feed getting uh, transmitted via 5.8 to the telly in the front. There is also a big telly in the back. There's my next, going to record the footage from this. There it is there, much bigger, much easier to fly from, in theory. haven't tried it yet. I'll, there's a better angle for you. So what I'm going to try and do today is jump in the back of the car and fly from the back of the car, if all goes well. Uh, so, right, uh, I'll do a quick calibration of my tracker because I haven't been here before, so hard iron calibration. It'll start going round in a second once I press offline and calibrate. Do do do, off it goes. Um, I've put a Mobius on top of the tracker as well, although later on I'll find out it wasn't quite aligned. But uh, just to show you the tracker, um, tracking the aircraft, strangely enough. Um, on that tracker, that's uh, Marsin's cut some uh, carbon plates. There's a digital display that you can't see because it looks like it's strobing. But uh, that's a voltage display. There's a 5.8 gigahertz Boscam 200 milliwatts transmitter there on top of a MyFly Dream antenna tracker. The uh, 5.8 goes to that monitor there, so I can take it off the top and move it and leave the monitor and still have a picture. The other, the other receiver I was just looking at in the car was uh, for the TVs in the car, obviously. Uh, right, it's done its hard iron calibration. I will turn on the trackers, Mobius. But then I discover that I cannot actually see the LED, so I don't know if it's on or not. There's a blonde moment. Uh, right, this is the live feed from the Sky Phone. To get in sync, I videoed myself play, uh, pressing record on the DVR. Um, on the D700, it's the first time I've used the D700, so again, I don't know what picture I'm going to get from this. It's got a scan disk, uh, 16 gig, I think it was, um, class 10 card in it. Um, I'm flying with the Tyrannus with the easy UHF GR module. Not that I'm going to go very far today at all, this is just a maiden. I haven't trimmed up the plane, the plane has not tucked to the air yet, so this could go horribly wrong. In fact, you're going to see in a minute, it does go slightly wrong. Um, I think I've got everything right. Right in the left-hand corner, that's the live feed from the uh, DVR. Underneath that is the Mobius from the tracker. And to the right-hand side, that half a picture is the Mobius on the plane, which I've just shrunk down now. Uh, and then the car shot is going to come underneath. Here we go. So the tracker... Hasn't really started tracking yet. Oh, it's starting to wake up. Uh, what I'm initially finding was, even though it flew off all right, I pulled back on the elevator because it needed a bit of up. Yep, no problem. Oh, holy crap. As soon as I touch the ailerons, you can see there, it's, uh, twitchy is an understatement. The slightest little touch of the ailerons. And this thing's going nuts, even um, with dual rates, 50%. So somewhere in my old program, I must have um, I must have had the horns on a completely different place because this is totally different to the other Skyphone. It's handling the battery weight well because it's got a four thousand on there. Um, I didn't see the cruise because I wasn't I didn't have the goggles on. What we're we looking at, but that's about ten amp. Is it ten amp cruise there? And that's nearly a. Uh, 70, 70 kilometers. I'm looking at this on the, on the PC while it's editing, so it's a very small screen. So forgive me if I'm struggling a bit. But 70k at 10 amps, and um, because of how twitchy it was with the ailerons, um, there was no way. Go all I wanted to want to do um, was do a quick little speed run because I've got an, uh, a speed sensor on it. 
Um, but one, it was way, way too windy really to be doing a uh, maiden. As you can see from the smoke coming from uh, SSI, uh, my works, it's blowing basically sideways. The ailerons were so twitchy. I was like, right, just have a quick platter around. And then the plan is land. Uh, once I've landed, um, turn down the throws to at least half. Um, there's me jumping out the car. I've had a go, I've had a go in the car from flying in there. It works fine, so that's good. So yeah, I'm going to land, turn down to 50%, take back off again, and then set the rest of um, uh, the autopilot up. Um, what I was going to do also was take the um, elevator up to full, um, because in dual rates with 50% on, I hardly had any elevator authority whatsoever. So here I come for a landing and every time I'm turning the power down it's just getting buffeted all over in the wind so I'm struggling like hell but down she goes spot on not really because it snapped a prop as soon as it landed so that was it Um, I could turn down the ailerons as much as I wanted but it, um, typically thinking oh I'm flying at the gear so it'll be nice soft grass I land on the only hard bit snap a prop so I have to go home to get it fixed. Um, there was a little bit of foam showing in the Mobius's lens which you can just see there. So I've since took it on, moved the camera forward a bit, cleared the uh, foam out and uh, ready for another Maiden um, when it's hopefully less windy next weekend. Thanks for watching, bye bye.